Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today I'm coming to you with your solstice and Christmas energy forecast for 2018 and this energy will continue till about the uh, second uh, week of January or so for some of you. For most of you it'll end around the beginning of the first week of January. So uh, what are we dealing with? Well firstly um, we are on a wave of good luck and good things uh, which is coming our way because of all the work that we've done since about March this year. So most of us would have been going through some form of growth or trials uh, from about March, although January and February would have affected people in a particular way as well earlier this year. And then from March onward, you've been working on something. And what is it that you've been working on? It may be three-pronged. It may be just one particular thing that you're working on. And it is that which you have come to understand about yourself and come to accept about yourself in the last two weeks or so, especially this week, um, because what's happened is that there's been a lot of minor irritations that have come to the fore in the last couple of weeks. And so maybe you have not really had a chance to experience this in the way that you understood yourself too. But what has actually happened is that you have a, a new skill that you can um, you can take as your own, that you've been developing on a subconscious level for the whole of this year, practically so. And especially over the summertime when uh, I, do, I think it's due to the eclipses that took place and uh, due, you know, a lot of the information I give you is due to astrological influences to some extent, but it's also due to solar flares and other energetic uh, influences upon the planet. And so uh, what we have right now is um, something like a tick, you know, like a green tick that says, yes, you have successfully accomplished uh, this task and you have the accolade of the skill. Um, you have earned the skill. It's like a certificate. You've earned the certificate. You've graduated from this. And what they are saying to you is, well, go out now and do your practical. So actually what's going to happen is that during the, I think from around the 20th of December till about the uh, 4th or the 5th of January, you're going to find that you will need to put to the test all that you've learned. So if your lesson was... Um, trying not to please others or trying to put yourself first, then you're going to be confronted with many issues where you are um, bombarded with situations where people are asking you to do things for them and not taking into account what, you, what they need to do for you or not taking into account your needs. And you are going to be in a position where you can either choose, am I going to people please? Am I going to go ahead and, t and do for them what it is that they've asked me to do at the cost of myself? Or am I going to find another way around this? Perhaps take care of myself in the process as well as do something for them. Or if, it, if the situation calls for it, simply say no and walk away and take care of your own. Okay, so this is really important because uh, some of you have been dealing with this all your lives, you know, and some of you... Uh, haven't been able to say no to others in the way that you've been able, you will be able to say no now. And that's just one example. Another way in which uh, this may, may have affected you, this energies may have affected you, is that your whole belief system may have changed in the last um, six to eight months. Things that you uh, thought to believe were, were true and that you are passionate about um, certain ideals, certain beliefs, um, certain philosophies, um, certain paradigms in the last uh, decade or so, or, or perhaps I'm, I'm hearing like six to seven years, well, those things are going to come up again and you're going to, and you would have uh, in the last uh, eight months had many opportunities to revise your beliefs about that particular system of thought. And over this holidays, it's going to be like you come to further consolidate that. And it's almost as if you take a 180 degree turn from where you were at a few years ago to where you are now. And it's like this new belief system that you've um, decided is more relevant to your life at this moment. It's going to be entrenched. It kind of clicks into place for you. Okay. Um, 
so uh, yeah, that's another example. The other way in which this may manifest to you is that you may have um, created a huge move in your life in the last year or two years, and you would have learned a lot um, in this process at the beginning of this move or the shift in energy, whether it was an actual uh, house move or a uh, a city move or country move um, or continent move or whatever it was that you were doing uh, whether it was moving jobs or whether it was simply just moving from one room in your home to another room in your home what's actually going to happen is that you're going to feel have felt uh, you would have felt right at the beginning that there were lots of challenges to come with this and over this period you're going to be feeling those challenges uh, more acutely. So you're going to have to confront all the things about your move or your shift in energy or the direction that you've chosen to shift in. Perhaps you've just said to yourself, now I'm going to start thinking this way about this particular thing right now. But in fact, and this is, applies to people who've started doing this maybe uh, about 18 months ago, um, you're going to find that it becomes extremely challenging for you to keep telling yourself, well, this is the way it needs to be, or this is going to work because you're going to stare in the eye what is not working about the situation you're going to need to accept that and make peace with that and make some decisions about whether you accept it or whether you change it or how you go on from here uh, so there are a myriad of ways in which this can be impacting you but those are just three examples of how it will come to bear for you what i'm going to say is that uh we've had a a week for those of you just coming out of those uh, harsh effects of sort of mercury retrograde things or annoyances things not really going according to plan or things just needing a lot more revision and uh, a lot more care before you can execute them well you're going to have a brief respite or respite however you say that word and you're going to be um you're going to actually be free for a, for a moment. You're going to have like two weeks and I feel that's actually right now. Or maybe it started last week and it's going on. And then around the 20th, or for some of you around the 18th uh, of December, it's going to start going to gear again where little things will come up and you'll be challenged and you will be, it'll be niggly things and you'll have to face it. And so there is a series of things that you'll be learning during this time which will actually uh, contribute to the larger lesson that you've been learning all through this year. And I feel that uh, for some of you, this will be a bit challenging um, on a bigger scale. But for some of you, it will just be challenging on a, um, a on a level of patience. You know, do you have enough patience? Do you have enough tolerance? Do you have uh, the time to let this thing unfold? You know, it's going to be those kind of things uh, for, the, for I think, uh, a lot of people. Or oh, that's what it boils down to. I think people will make, will kind of see this, uh, a lot of people will see this as much bigger than it actually is. But if you, um, if you take a step back and just say, well, I'm just going to let this unfold, then a lot of these, um, these things can actually unfold in a way that is um, not at a cost to you but at a cost to the environment or at a cost to those around you or to others in this given situation. And so uh, that is one way in which you can deal with these things. But as I was saying, it's like lots of niggly little things that accumulate to consolidate your final, um, the final step in your lesson. And I feel that, uh, yeah, it's going to be not so bad. It's just going to be not as peaceful or not as smooth sailing. Um, for some of you who have actually elevated yourselves and you mastered what you've needed to do, have done in this last few months, you're going to find that it is actually uh, easy. You observe, you notice, you recognize that these are situations that are coming up to test you, but you sail through them. You just walk through them without any uh, emotional response to it. And so I feel that for a few of you out there, it's going to be like that. But for a few of you, it's still going to test you a little bit. And I want to say that after that, you're free. Okay, so come the beginning of January, it's really a whole new beginning. Okay, and uh, there's a whole different energy that's coming into play in January and in February as also very different. So what we're going to find uh, early January is that these things are done and dusted that you've mastered it, that you've gotten it, and uh, it will, you know, you've kind of moved on from it. Hopefully you've mastered it and you've moved on from it. And it was the last test in the series of tests. And then 
January, second week of January is going to usher in a whole new energy, whole new set of challenges, whole new opportunities uh, for growth and reform in your life uh, if you're open to it. And uh, this is actually very exciting. I know you're probably wondering why am I excited about this, but it's just, uh, it gives us an ability to evolve on a soul level uh, at a rate at which we have not seen before in hundreds of years um, maybe in a thousand years. So we're moving and we, we're elevating and we, we are we're moving at such a great speed and we're able to change so many things. So prayer is extremely useful at this moment. Prayer for the planet, prayer for people who are in suffering, uh, prayer for yourself and manifesting. Um, manifestation is so much easier now than it's been even a month ago and so I'm smiling because yeah the challenges are there to help us streamline and to help us become more focused and um, have more clarity uh, and also refine our vision of where we're going to but actually uh, it's it's going to be challenging yes but we're going to be learning so much the rewards are so great from everything that's coming in January and then in February also and then also later on uh, next year. So I, I'm excited about it and what I'm hearing, what I'm feeling is good and uh, we are moving towards a greater goodness and that is something to look forward to. And so I want to wish all of you a very festive, happy season, a safe, be safe, be protected, be blessed and I, I hope that it's going to be easy for you and you can just sail through all of these things and I'm going to catch you again uh, just before the New Year with another energy forecast for those few days uh, which is going to be slightly different from Christmas and, and the solstice uh, to, um, days. Yeah, I'm but, just wishing uh, you all very well and um, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.